And you are? I'm V, and I'm going to be performing my song, Deja Voodoo. Thank you for coming today. Um, I really, really, really appreciate your music. I was actually vibing with it. I really, really liked it. And um, I think we'll be seeing you again. So I want to invite you back. Thank you for having me. We'll be in contact. And thank you. It was refreshing. 11? How long have you been single? All you do is sit here at this bar doing absolutely nothing. Saheed, don't even. Don't what? Look, bro, I'm good. I'm good. Besides, you're the last person I will let try to hook me up. Listen to sis, just let it go. How do I know she was that type of chick? She seems so down to earth to me. Hey. Ain't no way you in now. <laughs> Ain't no way. Sis, sis. <laughs> I'm good. Really. Mm. I am. But what really hurts is that I put her through school and gave her everything. I wish you would mm. do that. Until then, I still can't believe what she did to me. She just said her right. Bro, <laughs> get over it. She has her all of it. Let me ask you this. What's up? Has it ever happened to you? No. You know what? I need a drink. Bartender, drink please. Wait a minute. I know you're not about to defend her. I know you're not about to defend that girl. Really? Can I help you? Uh, yes. Uh, came by to fill out a shop application. Just uh, give me a second. Are you the head of human resources? I am actually the head of the company. There you go. I'm sorry. I'm so Miss, please don't. I'm not here to hurt you. And I know my actions probably caught you off guard yesterday, but I just can't get enough nerve to say what I wanted to say. And what was that? That you're one very pretty lady. And I finally got enough nerve to approach you, but I just blew it. Look, you are a very nice looking man, and I'm sure you have a lot of ladies after you already, so I really don't believe that. Can we just start all over? My name is Larry. Larry Richmond. Gail. Gail Potter. Well, it's nice to meet you, Miss Potter. Maybe we'll uh, see each other again. Maybe. Goodbye. Some 
advice. Of course. This guy in a hoodie came into the office the other day. He was acting kind of weird and he finally just asked for a job application. So I hand him the job application and he does this like weird hand thing. Oh no. No, no, no. You can't just be in the office alone by yourself all the way down that hall. Where's your security? That isn't even what I need the advice for. You ready? He comes in the next day and tells me he was just pretending and he'd been seeing me around and <laughs> he actually wanted to ask me out. What? <laughs> no. Well, it is about time. It's only been five years since your divorce. Thank God. He's black. Oh my god, are you okay? Are you okay? Yes. Can you breathe? You alright? Yes. You alright? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, you good? Yeah. Hey, I finally got a smile out of you. <laughs> well, how's your friend? She's gonna live. Thank you for your help. Ten years of memorial. You're a doctor? Was a doctor. Worked many and long hours. Built up a nest egg and finally retired. Now, I'm doing what I really love to do. Why, you really love being a waiter? Music. I play the horns. So you're a doctor and a musician. Okay, I admit it, I'm impressed. Question. Answer. <laughs> Dinner on me? I have to pass. Look, when was the last time you had a nice quiet dinner? And I don't mean by yourself. I mean, someone to take you out and show you a nice time. Okay, you got me. It's been a long time. That's a nice bed. You know that guy that was helping you the other night when you were choking at the club? Ooh, that good looking one. I remember him. He's the one that's been asking me out. Well, you know what they say about black men. No, don't you? Oh my God. Hug. Honey, please. <laughs> I'm a middle-aged woman. I'm having hot and cold flashes. No, thank you, but the last thing on my mind is sex. As good as he looks, you just let him get a little close to you, and soon you're gonna get your freak on. <laughs> Unbelievable. Come on, I'm serious. I don't know what to do. How many single men have asked you out in the last five years? I'll tell you. Zero. So he's a waiter. No, oh, he's not a waiter. He's a retired doctor. Professional musician. I know it's so stupid. I, I'm still worried what people might think. <sighs> Honey, you are rich, very good looking, but you're lonely. And all you're thinking about is what a group of snobby white people are going to think about this. The same group that pushed you to get rid of your husband. That is a good point. I don't know. It, I actually want to go out with them. I'd love to go out with them, but... But what? Don't, don't want. Do. Because if you don't, give me his number and I'll go. You are like sex on the brain. You know that, right? We have kept our promise to mom and dad. Meeting each other every Sunday morning for breakfast. Ten years strong. Like, ten years straight. Like, who would have thought? Facts.
Man, I got him some. Who is she? When we gonna meet her? What are y'all talking about? When did you get back on the dating scene? Makeup on the collar. What? And your face glowing. Mm. If you must know, I did meet someone. Well, I hope she's the one, honestly. Because your wife, I mean, your ex-wife walking out on you, it left a real toll on you. And we don't want to see our brother hurting like that. I don't want to see my brother hurting like that ever again. Can we order? No, <laughs> bump that, bump that. Who is she? What is she tall? Is she short? Skinny? Thick? When we gonna meet her? Why you would tell me? All I'm worrying about is making sure she treats you right and she's the one. I could have sworn mom and dad were resting in peace. Look, I promise to let y'all know when the time is right. Now, can we order? Hello? <laughs> oh my god. I'm telling you, I never knew sex could be like that. Give me a second, I'm gonna put you on speaker. I had an orgasm. <laughs> oh my god. Whew. I guess that's what it's like after five years. No, this is how you act when you really care about each other. Can you imagine this? Mrs. Gail Potter dating again. Oh my gosh, I'm dating. Oh, how weird is that? I'm actually dating someone. A really good looking someone at that. That is true. Oh, shoot, I didn't see the time. I gotta go. Um, we're actually going to the village today. The village? Yeah, well... I'm sure everybody's already heard, so hey, <laughs> why not give him something more to talk about? Oh, hey, Leslie. Thanks. For what? For always being there for me. And for not letting me give up on myself. That's what best friends are for. We look out for each other through thick and thin. You're awesome. Hey, I'll call you later. Well, y'all have a good time. Have fun. showing up here. You better be glad his sister didn't show up. I'm not afraid of her. Yes, you are. What do you want? Can we talk? We have nothing to talk about. I come home to an empty house and there's a note on the floor. The note says, I've decided to leave you. You pop up in here six months later and ask, can we talk? You need to leave. I miss you. I miss your hugs. I miss your kisses. I miss you. I made a mistake. You need to leave before Susan pops up in here. I'm not afraid of her. Yes, you are. I wasn't talking to you. Well, I'm talking to you. I wish you and your new man the best. Have a nice life. So you're just gonna turn your back on me? That's what it looks like. I wasn't talking to you. But I'm talking to you. Larry. Larry. Larry! I'll forget you. I didn't want you back anyway. Best of wishes to you and your little white lady friend. I'm glad Susan ain't come through those doors. <laughs> you and me both.
Hi. Um, Miss Potter? Yes? You need to come to my brother's house. He's been injured. I'm, s I'm sorry, who is this? <clears throat> there is brother. He's been injured, but the doctor said he's going to be okay. I, I'm on my way. Yo, sis. I could have swore the lady I just finished talking to was white. My brother? Yes. And a white lady? No way. Hold on. Does this come from someone who wears hair extensions down to her butt thinking she's Paris Hilton or somebody? Whatever. Like, whatever. Miss Potter? Yes, yeah, I yeah. am. I can't believe someone would do this to my brother. He don't bother nobody. He's waking up. Yeah. What happened, baby? I saw my life flash before my eyes. And I can't imagine living another day without you. What I'm trying to say is, will you marry me? Everybody, welcome to the Carver. Tonight we have performing Evan Gibson. I'm telling you, I never knew sex could be like that. Yo, sis, I could have swore the lady I just finished talking to was white. My brother yes. and a white lady. No way. So, I didn't get to tell you that I have a brother that's a Muslim and a sister who thinks she's Paris Hilton, Cole Richie or something, <laughs> and an ex-wife who thinks she's Diana Ross. <laughs> now, how's that for dysfunctional? Well, a lonely, sad, bitter divorcee who finds herself falling madly in love with a good-looking black man. How dysfunctional is that? <laughs> well, I guess we're just... Two dysfunctional people dating each other. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get better than that. <laughs>